Alright, so there's a bell here which I could ring. It seems the gravedigger has removed its clapper to have peace at night. But he doesn't know me yet. It fits perfectly. But I wonder whether it works. Oh my gosh, man. It took me a while to figure out. So, I managed to... I looked at trying to combine things and I combined the brass button with a cemetery bell. So I think we put it back and then we can ring it now. That won't be better. Are you sure? Just ring the damn thing. Going to be really angry. Oh. That's damn oh, good. Who's bothering me this time? I'm coming! Shh, Ducky. Shh. Hey, buddy. Damn! How come it rings? Oh, Why what about that? It seems alright to me. It can't be alright as I tore the bloody thing out. The dead want their peace. So I don't the living. I came to see you. It is midnight. Come back tomorrow. It'll be better to solve it straight away. If Baker sent you, I'll smash your head with my shovel. I told him clearly he'll get it by the end of the week. I don't know any Baker. Will you let me in? Just stay where you are. Tell me what you want. Then we'll see. Mm. I guess we'll just ask about Brian. I'm looking for a friend. His name's Brian. I bet you know him. Brian, eh? Many lie here. So that may be difficult. This one's alive. Was he here tonight? Or did he leave a message for me? Oh, I see. I thought you were looking for a grave. But do I look like a messenger? Maybe. Not exactly. I should have met him here tonight, but the plan failed. You have no business being here at night. The graveyard's closed. My dog isn't used to strangers, and I release him at night. Yeah, I noticed. I've probably come too late. But just so you know, I haven't fed him for three days. He'd be right at your neck. Understood? <laughs> yes. So, if you happen to climb over the wall and look for this, Brian, it'll be your funeral. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the advice, but don't be surprised when it dies. What? It won't happen. There are plenty of idiots who try to get in here. Lunatic. He probably tried the same act on Brian, but he wouldn't leave so easily. Damn. Okay. I hope he's all right. Um, oh. I assume that none of these have really an adverse effect on the storyline, so I'll just go from top to bottom. I need to take a look inside. Can you arrange that? Are you having a laugh? How do you imagine I'm going to let you do that? Simply. You call the fang off, let me in, and I'll pay you whatever you want. Hmm. Whatever I want? Well. Good. Shouldn't have said that. So we're agreed. Wait a minute, youngster. We haven't agreed anything yet. I'm taking the risk here. I'll take that into account. So, how much? Ten pounds. What? He must be God. crazy. Take it as you wish, but that's my price. If you don't like it, we've nothing more to talk about. That's just greed. I don't have that much on me. There must be another way than through money. Um, check where he knows the salted cheek. You know the salted cheek? I just came from there. I can tell you, I've never drunk such terrible beer in my life. The salted cheek? Nobody can make me go back there. <laughs> the beer wasn't that bad. I don't care. It just reminded me of a watch. A very expensive watch. Hmm. 
I don't get it. What do you mean? Uh, is that man still there? Sitting near the door. Asking everyone to play dice with him. Yes. Yeah, he's still there. Well, be careful with him. He plucked everything off me. My money, jewels, everything. What a swine. But I regret more than anything. Him taking that silver watch. A reminder of better times, right? Oh, no. It's not mine. And I'll be in big trouble if it comes out that I've lost it. Ho ho ho, why, why are you telling me this? That? None of your business. Exactly. You better tell me what you want. I want to see Brian. Your problem's on my head, old codger. <sighs> I guess we'll attempt to frighten him. Maybe I didn't express myself clearly. If I don't get in, someone might have an accident. Mm -hmm. I probably didn't express myself clearly either. If you climb over the wall, someone will definitely have an accident. Don't be silly. Do you want blood to run in here? I don't. But try explain that to my dog. Calls the dog off. Him. Not as long as he has the dog with him. Find out the dog's name. Nice what did you say its name was? I didn't say. You know, I have a dog too. Mind your own business. And leave my dog be. Now, did you want something else or what? It'll be difficult. He doesn't trust me at all. Oh yeah, he tried to frighten the damn bastard. <sighs> well, let's confess the bell fixing. Don't worry about the bell. It works as good as new. So what? You won't get inside anyway. Why not? I'll I'm just not ring it again. Naive, but I wonder why you stole its clapper. I'm not telling you why. I heard there was a funeral today. An aristocratic one. It must have attracted many people. Journalists, onlookers. You're right. So, what? They almost tore the bell off the chain. So I simply put a stop to that. Damn them all! <laughs> It'll wear off. Nobody will remember Mad William in a few days. And we'll have peace again. Hooray! He didn't have any other name than this. Sure. People also called him the White Beast. But that was punishable. There are fines for insults and stuff like that. He was pretty nuts, wasn't he? I'll tell you something. Now he's right under my nose. It makes me uneasy. I liked him better when he was alive and far away. I believe you. I'm not surprised you're afraid of him. Ah, you're talking piffle. I was wondering why you talked to me at all. I'd expect you to send me straight to hell, but you didn't. You're standing here telling me gossip. You even released the dog only to have a sound sleep. You're just simply afraid of a dead man in a coffin. Correct. I don't have to listen to this. And I won't. Now this is lucky. The gravedigger's an old fool, and I need to get into his graveyard. Let's offer our services then. I'll bring you the watch, but not for free. No thanks. I can manage it myself. And how are you going to do that? Do you have any money at all? That's not your business. Why do you stick your nose in? I want to have a look inside, and the only way to do that is through you. So, I'm trying to reach an agreement with you in good grace. But ten pounds is too much. So let's do an exchange. I'll get the watch, and you'll let me in. Forget it. What could happen? Mad William rise from the dead and bite me, or what? Don't mess, man. You don't know what you're saying. Damn. I just want to see if Brian left a message here. A few minutes will do. You're pretty pig-headed. Ah, to hell with it. But there will be no deal without the watch. I'll come by later. I don't care. I won't be asleep tonight anyway. Ah, damn. Mm -hmm. Right, 
we need to get the watch back. I'd better think twice. Yes, yes. Bell. Do you want the bell back? Oh, jeez. Don't ring it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Next time I'll throw the damn bell into the. Oh shit. Damn, damn, damn. I didn't think you'd ring it. Back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Can I take the broken pavement now? No, okay. Well, uh, let's go back there and see what we can do about the watch. I notice you have a nice watch. I'm looking for a similar piece. Don't try to pull my leg milks up. I haven't taken it out of my pocket since I came here. The bastard from the cemetery sent you, right? Damn, he's smooth. Well, not really. You can tell him the price has doubled since last time. How come? I heard that the knives are out for him because of the watch. So the price increases, don't you think? If they kill him, you won't get anything. Doesn't matter. I have the watch and crows can peck the gravedigger to pieces. That's life. He won't let it go. That's obvious. At least I know he has the watch with him. So do we play now? I've arranged everything. We can play if you have something to offer. You don't know what you're talking about. I'll pluck you like a chicken. God, I hope not. Well, let's start then. I'll try to win the Gravedigger's watch back. But I guess I don't have much of a chance. That scum is either a great player or a great cheater. Or both. That's terrifying. Do I have to play? Please don't make me play. Oh man. I'm pretty good looking, aren't I? Snap, crackle, pop. We lost? You bastard. How could you lose? I blew it. Damn. What'll I do now without money? I have no idea, dude. I have no money! I've been ripped off like a greenhorn. It was my blunder, but I also have my pride. I'd rather eat soil than beg. So what do we do now? A fair theft needs a fair theft needs a good idea. I've been ripped off like I'd yes. rather eat. Yes, yes, eat souls and bag. Oh, jeez. Talk to the innkeeper. You, you run, boy. Complain about the bucket player. Oh, I really can't stand people who spoil business. I don't get it. Who are you talking about? Your mum. The man with the dice. He pestered me from the moment I stepped in the door. Jeffrey? He won't stop until he fleeces someone. That's it. He cleans your customers out. They let him fleece the last penny out of them instead of drinking their money at the bar. He can do whatever he wants, except cheating. He tried it once, so we opened the door with his head. Oh. He got the idea very quickly. He's probably forgotten again. I saw him cheating. He robbed an old fellow of a silver pocket watch. You should take care of your guests and try to get the watch back. Ah, uh, I'll remind him of his last lesson. If I were you, I'd call for help. Aye, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And don't forget the watch. Okay. Okay. I can't miss it. What? What do you want? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh no! You got thrown out the window! That's epic. Oh. How did it go? Good. He won't cause any more trouble. And what about the watch? What watch? I told you. He'd robbed an old man of a silver pocket watch. 
I thought you took it from him. Yeah, he can go to the police. It's not my problem. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. Damn. The watch is gone. Oh, jeez. Uh, righto, so guys, we're going to end this one here. See you in the next one. Bye.